blood sport two, three, four, come on. Garbage. Well, okay, Garbage. so part two is like okay, but not if you compare it to part one. Part three actually did kind of suck. Part four is one of the worst films in, on the planet. They all I said it. <laughs> I got to be honest on the channel. They, they, <laughs> no. they all suck. It is the truth. Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to talk about why Jean-Claude Van Damme is such an amazingly talented actor. We're also going to talk about if they do a Bloodsport sequel, like a true sequel, what needs to happen in order to make it really good. We're also going to discuss the sequels they already made, uh, including talk about Daniel Bernhardt. And of course, with any discussion about Bloodsport, usually Frank Dukes comes up. So we're going to talk about him as well. Anyway, if you like this kind of content, please help support the channel by hitting the like button, subscribing, sharing the video. My guest, by the way, is Doron, uh, one of Van Damme's buddies. He's the number one automotive influencer in Israel. Check out his YouTube channel if you're on the automotive stuff. I'll link it in the description below. You know, there is a lot of talk lately with Bloodsport mm -hmm. again, Bloodsport Redux. Remember that really popular trailer came out and Van even shared it on his Facebook and his uh, YouTube channel. So it almost seems like mm -hmm. without him directly saying it, to me, it almost seems like he's interested in, in coming full circle, started with Bloodsport. And I know he's always talked about doing one last epic martial arts film right? He talked about that yeah. a few years ago in Australia. So can you imagine if he finished with like a true sequel to Bloodsport? That'd be insane. To be honest with you, uh, I think that it would be really insane, but I think that he needs to be surrounded by the most talented and, and, and you know, there are certain people that need to do this project. Sheldon Lenich. He already wrote this script 10 years ago. Let him direct it, man. They did the best films. First together. of all, yes. First of all, yes. Sheldon Lenich should, should be in this because he's the guy who made it. He, he's like he, him and Frank Dukes, of course, you know, Frank Dukes who took part in the first one and who, who wrote it, who hold off the fights with JC and everything, you know, this, those three three people together, I think, you know, I'm not assuming, I'm, I'm just thinking out loud. They did Blood Sport together, smash hit, right? Yeah. Lionheart, they were all together, smash hit, right? Go for what worked, you know, don't change it. Sheldon is very, 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 very talented guy. I don't want to get into all the, these fights of Frank and Sheldon and his, this was true, this wasn't true. Leave me out of it. I don't want any, you know, any to be in that. On, because I saw what's going on. Really, for me, I'm I'm 38 years old. It seems like a little bit childish to all those grown-up people fighting about <laughs> this subject. You no, know? he's threatened me, Frank Dukes. He's threatened me bodily harm. That is the worst thing he ever did. Frank's lies are this kind. I flapped my wings so hard, my hands, that I levitated up and I landed on the moon. What I know, what I know, the facts that I know is that Frank Dukes, which I also met and we're going to talk about it. Yeah, we're going to talk about true, him soon. He's responsible for the movie Bloodsport. Do you agree with me? Sand. He has to get some the credit. Guy, yes, of course. Absolutely. No, not credit. I think he, he, he deserves a lot of credit. A lot of credit for Bloodsport. Yeah, I mean, it is based on his essential story and, and, and life. It's debatable, but yeah. his ideas. Sad! Regardless, they were his ideas. Whether they happened in real life or not, this was a lot of his ideas, and he did choreograph the fight. So, yes, we do have to give him a lot of credit for that. Responsible for bringing us the amazing Chong Lee, the, the fight choreography and everything, and, and something with him and JC and Sheldon worked. They probably had chemistry. Bring me back the yeah. gang, man. Let's do it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they, uh, listen. Uh, uh, I'm in the industry here in Israel, small industry. I see what ego does to people. Mm. And when I see your videos and the people you interview, I see a lot of ego, you know? Okay. Let's fight him. And he said that. And then <laughs> didn't happen. Yeah, I, I, I would fight Michael J. White also mainly for that reason so people can 
open their eyes into how much he sucks. Because if I fight him, he's done with one kick. Like little kids, ego only ruins, you know, the possibilities that can happen. If Sheldon Lettich and Frank Dukes and JC get together and try to make something, first, I'm sure that they're going to get funding, you know, because this formula already worked before and made money, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. and, and I think that it's a shame, you know? You can make a, a prequel or a sequel to Bloodsport, but it, 90% it will not work if it will not be with the right people behind it. You understand? 100%, what, it, what dude, this, they already made Bloodsport 2, Bloodsport 3, Bloodsport 4. Grand and it was a joke. Daniel Bernhardt. But, and then they were talking about rebooting Bloodsport. It's like, well, without Van Dam, without Ledge, you know, without yeah. Dukes, like, I'm glad they never got yeah. made. In I'm, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to. God forbid to uh, say anything bad about nobody, but Black Sport 2, 3, 4, come on. Garbage. Well, okay, Garbage. so part 2 is like okay, but not if you compare it to part 1. Part 3 actually did kind of suck. Part 4 is one of the worst films in, on the planet. They all I said it. <laughs> I got to be honest on the show. They, they, <laughs> you know? they all suck. It is the truth. And Daniel Bernhardt in that, those films, he's a nice guy, I'm sure. He looks great. He's a martial artist. For me, as a normal person watching the TV, seeing him, he looks like Jean-Claude Van Damme from Alibaba. Yeah, it, uh, you, like know, you, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, me growing up and my friends, again, nothing against Daniel Bernhard. He's got a great career doing stuff now, but I'm just saying, we of always course, consider so him, the guy refer to him real quick, Doron, as like the poor man's Van Damme. It's like, it, it's like the poor man's Van Damme. It's like he's a ripoff. And it may not even have been his idea. The studios wanted you to think, hey, this is like a Van Damme like guy. It's like, no, it's not. It's a complete ripoff and, and we're not enjoying it. So he's that, his that own guy really, now, though. He's that, his own guy now. I give him credit for what he's doing now. For now, now I see him in this crazy movie. Like he was in John Wick, I saw him. Yeah. And I'm very happy for him because the guy finally is making, he's building his own way, his own career. He's... He has his own unique color now. He's not trying to fake somebody that he is not. Exactly. Understand? And that's what happened in Black Sport 2, 3, and 4, and all the rest of them that I didn't even see. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> you know? So it's okay. I understand that the, the industry back then, it was different from, today, from the industry today. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that the director and the production company, they told them, okay, you need to do it exactly like JC. And, but it sucked. It didn't work. Come it on. didn't work, man. It didn't work. It didn't yeah. work. It didn't work. And even JC had a lot of movies that didn't work because he wasn't surrounded by the right people. That's, That's what I think, you know? Point. Because the talent is already there. JC is still very talented, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Even if, you put, even if you put the martial arts aside, the guy has a very, very developed co comic... Uh, uh, I mean, uh, he's fun to watch. Timing and timing, yeah. No, no, this is business. Take over the karate class. Like this? The guy's a, he's a good actor, you know? Like I know always said that, dude. I've always defended him. It's like, I yeah. think people, because he doesn't have the perfect English, at least back in the day, and, and he would flub lines a little bit, I think they just, like, assume he can't act. But it's like, no, dude, it's all the emotional range. It's the facial expressions. It's everything. That's what makes him a great actor. Doesn't matter if he speaks perfect English or not. He was not enough strong to be in jail. That has, you know, a little to do with it, but that's not the important thing. He's got that, I think that green I, presence, I, right? In, in the emotions, yeah. in, in the facial expressions, etc. I think that the fact that his English wasn't perfect, it served him a lot because it was his, uh, his profession, like his trade, you know? He's broken English, but it was a little bit sexy the way he pronounced the, wor the words, you know? What kind of car you work or not? It's not for a car. A motorcycle. It's a motor a word. And for example, in Lionheart, yeah, it really helped the, the plot, you know? Oh, yeah, it did. That, broke, that broken English. But by the way, in Lionheart, you can really see that JC is a great actor. Okay? Oh, also. Time. Also in Double Impact, because imagine the guy is playing two characters and he's both of them. Mm -hmm. And sometimes he needs to sit, in, to sit in front of nothing and act like there's somebody there and then change the character from Chad to Alex and, and make the, you know, the, 
it's very hard, man. It's not so easy. He made so the people, character people... so real because Sean Ledich even shared a story when a guy came up to him like in the gym and said, oh, did you know Van Damme has a brother? He's like, what do you mean? He's like, well, double impact. There's there's two of them. They're, they're different. Of they're course. brothers in real life. And Sean's like, yeah. This is somebody that I actually ran into, had a conversation with. Um, I didn't tell him who I was. And he was just saying, uh, uh, no, no, my bullshit, uh, Van Damme, that's not the same guy. Van Damme has got a brother, and you can see it clearly in that movie. It's two different people. Like, okay, I guess you know more about it than I do. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, There's two of them. No, no they're not. <laughs> you know? So you understand that that's, uh, and by the way, Chad and Alex are two different, com completely different characters, you know? Yeah. You of all people should know I would never in my life wear black silk underwear. Wait, wait, wait. Like the guy, he he made an he did an amazing job in that, that movie. So I think that the talent is always there. He's mm -hmm. still very talented. He needs a good director, a good writer, a good production surrounding him. And you know, you'll have Jen Van Damme can make a crazy comeback even in five years from now. You oh, know, yeah. he's 60. Look at Stallone. Stallone is like 70. I don't know. 70? How old uh, is that? He was born in 46. Dude, he might be like 75 now. But well, he's at bro, the top of his game. Bro. You know, he's doing Expendables yeah. 4. He's doing yeah. Creed. Stallone. Well, I guess he's not doing the new Creed movie, but he just did Creed 2 not that long ago. So Yeah. So you see Stallone, is, he needs to play bridge now in an old retirement home, but the guy still makes movies because he knows to surround him. The guy, first, first of all, he's very rich. And he, he's surrounded by the, the good people, you know, like very talented people. He knows the thing or two, where to go and where not to go. And he's doing a great job. I think The Last Rambo, I really enjoyed it, you know. Mm -hmm. Everything he does, he's a great actor. And he makes it, you know, he, he's, he's doing it. And it's you know, the benefit with Stallone, by the way, is like, in a lot of ways, he is his own writer. So when you say you got to surround yourself with good people, he's lucky he's so talented as a writer that he could write his own stuff. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So he's very yeah. lucky. He's very lucky yeah. because he's got that that extra talent of writing. Exactly. He's very talented. He's he's lucky to have the talent. But but still, it's not it's not only about the writing and the acting. You need a you need a smart production. You need a good director. Oh, yeah. You need it's it's always a teamwork. If you have a good team and you're good and everybody's is doing their best, it's gonna work. And again, I think that that what happened with Bloodsport and Lionheart and Double Impact, I think that that was the magic formula back then. And, and it's a shame to see these guys fight, you know, today, you know, having these debates. And I saw this uh, fighter, his name, what was his name? Uh, Don, Don the Dragon? Don oh, the Dragon. Don the Dragon right? Wilson, yeah. Yeah, this guy, which is a really nice guy also. But, you know, seeing him and all, all of the other guys bashing Frank Dukes and talking about shit about JC and come on, man, grow up. Really? <laughs> Let's go to with uh, Frank Dukes real quick. So you know yeah. Frank Dukes personally, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I met, how did I you also meet him anyway? Well, obviously, in the next video, we're going to talk about the secret man, Frank W. Dukes. And Doran, by the way, is the one that set up that whole lunch meeting that Stephen Lambert and Frank Dukes was at. So we're going to discuss that, obviously. <laughs> but anyway, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe because you don't want to miss that.